friends welcome to my next video on invoice verification in mm so in my previous uh, session we had uh, posted one invoice with quantity and price variance such that one line item the delivered quantity was zero and the second line item the price was too low and we had seen what kind of warning messages we are getting and how the invoice was blocked before that one we had uh, learnt about the uh, variances and blocking reasons and uh, here we had learnt about the overview and configuration of the variances and blocking reasons now we will go to the section c where we will post one invoice with quantity and price variance such that for one of the material line item the delivered quantity is zero and the price is too low and for the other item line item the delivered quantity or the quantity invoice is greater than the delivered quantity or gr quantity and price is also too high let us go to the exercise sheet here section c section c okay here we have received an invoice for the purchase order as per below this is the po number 4500017957 and uh, here in the PO there are two line items first line item 10 piece the price is 100 rupees per piece second line item 10 piece price is 120 rupees per piece but in the vendor there is invoice he has given the price for the first line item as 995 rupees per piece which is for 10 it will come to 950 and the second line item he has given the price as 125 rupees per piece instead of the 120 rupees that will come into 1250 rupees 125 to 10 total amount is 2200 and the tax amount is 10% of 2200 is 220 and the total amount you have to pay to the vendor is this amount 2200 plus 220 that is equal to 2420 rupees you have to pay to the vendor okay now we will enter this invoice in Miro transaction code okay 17957 okay we will go to Miro transaction here I will go to Miro here, Miro transaction here. Okay, put the today's date is 11 July and the reference 17957 and uh, tax code is S2, okay, which is 10% input tax. I will show you the tax code in the PO. If you go to the invoice tab page here, the tax code is S2 for both the line item 20 and line item 10, S2 only. Okay, so we have put the tax code then we will input the pure reference pure number as well as the total amount and tax amount what is the total amount uh, as per given by the vendor 2420 and tax amount is 220 2420 2420 and the tax amount is 220 and let us put the pure number here what is the pure number 45001795750 one seven nine five seven one seven nine five seven just enter yeah there is some difference here actually so because now you know we have to put the actual price actually because see for the first line item first line item is not at delivered okay the first line item is not at delivered delivered quantity is zero okay and the price is too low okay for the second line item we will change the price okay so let me go to the first line item the deliver quantity is zero but he has given in for 10 pieces at 95 per piece okay 10 into 9, 95 is 950 rupees for the first line item for the second line item it is delivered 8 piece okay 8 piece at 120 into 8 is that is 960 if you go to the PO history here the second line item go to the second line item if you go to the pure history we can see very clearly eight pieces have been received 18 to 120 it is 960 rupees but in the invoice he has uh, given invoice for 10 pieces second item at 124 rupees per piece okay so what we will do we will change that uh, quantity and amount here 10 piece 125 into 10 is 1250 now i will remove this total amount here what will be the total amount here just enter the total amount is coming to 2420 okay tax is coming to 20 and total amount 2420 2420 which i already put okay now we have put the total amount as per the uh, 
vendors invoice here i have changed the quantity also and uh, here and the price and also here also i have changed the quantity from 8 to 10 and also the amount for 10 pieces now uh, here i am getting messages okay some warning messages and also here the balance field is you know the traffic light is yellow yellow means it is but blocked correct that is the invoice balance is correct zero but it is blocked for payment okay so if this traffic light in the balance field is yellow then it means the invoice is blocked for payment now i will click the messages okay i am getting these messages first line item quantity delivered is zero okay that is correct we have we have already seen the pivot and the second message is price too low below tolerance limit of 10 inr okay what is that one i will go to this one here uh, in the here if we go to the tolerance limits right set tolerance limits for invoice block in logistic invoice verification if we click this set tolerance limits here in the configuration this configuration is set at company code level my company code is 1111 this is my company code okay so what is the error it is showing here delivered quantity zero price too low and here in the invoice price too low below tolerance limit of 10 inr okay where it is set price price variance this is the pp right tolerance key is pp for price select this one and go for details here this is the upper limit okay the upper limit is 5 rupees and as the lower limit is 10 rupees okay for the total invoice value so here what has happened is we are getting below tolerance limit of 10 inr price is too low because here the in the po the price is 100 rupees right per piece but vendor has given 95 95 to 10 is 9, 9, uh, 950 rupees so hence there is a difference of 50 rupees uh, between the po price and the invoice price which is exceeding the lower limit of 10 10 rupees that is why we are getting that warning message okay next the quantity invoice greater than goods receipt quantity for the, for the second line item already we have seen this one um, the gr quantity is eight pieces but vendor has given invoice for 10 pieces and we are trying to post invoice for the 10 pieces as per the vendor's invoice next one more message price too high tolerance limit of 5 inr exceeded okay for the higher side if you see the tolerance limit for the price variance right for the upper limit it is 5 rupees inr currency is given it is upper limit is 5 rupees but what is the difference here in the invoice in the invoice the difference is uh, what is the difference it is for one piece it is he has given it as uh, 125 instead of uh, pivos uh, uh, 120 so 5 5 into 10 that is 50 rupees again this is exceeding the upper tolerance limit of 5 inr okay as per the tolerance limit set here it is exceeding this one that is the message we are getting okay so now i will close this one this is only warning message okay invoice will be posted but invoice will be blocked for payment that is the meaning of warning messages and that is the traffic light yellow now i will go to simulate if i simulate let us see what accounts are updated 2420 this is for the vendor account and for the first line item 950 okay second line item it is showing 1210 and also the uh, here that is the stock account of the second line line item 40 rupees why this one why the why this grr clearing account with 1210 and this stock account with 40 rupees i will tell you if we go to this sheet here for the second line item the system suggested eight pieces right already delivered for this item and you change it to 10 pieces the default value for 8 pieces was 18 to 160 rupees system had suggested 120 uh, 960 rupees okay this is the exact value to be cleared for 8 pieces in GRR clearing account system had suggested 960 only okay as per the GR for the two pieces that have not yet been delivered you must post a invoice at invoice price of 250 rupees that is 125 into 2 because vendor has given the price of 124 rupees that is equal to 250 rupees to the GRR clearing account hence the system will post how much that is the 960 okay 960 that is for the 8 pieces at the PO price okay 18 to 120 960 plus for the two pieces which are not yet received okay the system will post 
the amount for this two pieces not delivered at invoice price that is 125 into 250 so the system how much is 960 plus 250 that is equal to 1210 to the GRIR clearing account we can see here right 1210 to the GRIR clearing account this is the sum of 960 for 8 pieces plus sum of 2 pieces at the invoice price 125 to 250 okay to the GRIR clearing account and for the 8 pieces that have been delivered see the invoice contains a price increase okay how much 5 rupees price increase that is 125 is the price in the invoice instead of the 120 rupees in the PO therefore the system posts 8 piece into 5 rupees per piece that is 40 rupees to the stock account okay now since that is the 8 pieces have been delivered and the invoice contains a price of 125 per piece the difference between the invoice price and the PO or GR price which is 5 rupees per piece that is 18 to 5 that is equal to 40 rupees will be updated to the stock account. Why stock account? Because the material is valued at moving average price. If the material is valued at standard price then this difference of 40 rupees will be updated to the price difference account. Okay, But since now the material is valued at the moving average price the difference between the PO price and the IR price will be updated to the stock account of the material and the moving average price of the material will change. Let us even show that one. We will also see what is the valuation of the material. For example, second line item, double click on the second line item, go to the accounting one view. We can see it is valued at price control is B. Okay. So that is why the difference between the IR price and the PO price is updated to the material account okay this is for the material k-10005 and 220 rupees will go to the tax account so these are the account moments when we post the invoice with the variances okay back we have seen the messages also now i will post the invoice when you post the invoice the purchase order history of the uh, PO will be updated with the invoice document number and from the purchase order history we can double click on the invoice document and it will go to the display invoice document and from the invoice document we can go to the accounting document and check the status of the payment whether the invoice is blocked for payment or not even we can see if your invoice is blocked for payment from the invoice document in the PO history I will show you that one how we have to see system is posting invoice let us note down the invoice number and go to the PO history this is the invoice number invoice number is invoice document number is 5105609586 okay it is created but blocked for payment why it is blocked for payment because the traffic light here in the balance was yellow okay so now I will go to the purchase order here just click display change okay so here go to the PO history here this is the first line item first line item GR is not done only invoice right second line item GR is done for 8 piece and invoice done for the 10 pieces okay now I will go to the invoice document number here go to the follow on documents okay double click on the accounting document okay we can see this uh, GL account moment that is it is same as the when we had simulated the invoice okay so the first line item that is the this is uh, going to the vendor actually standard electricals rupees 2420 it will go to vendor account okay second uh, the, that is the uh, first line item 950 rupees will go to the first line item this is GRR clearing account of the second line item and the difference between the uh, PO price and the invoice price 40 rupees will go to the material account stock account this is the tax okay now how to know if the invoice is blocked we can uh, one way is that is we can go here double click on this one first line item that is the vendor line item here the gl account of the vendor line and here we can see the payment block here payment block or r means invoice verification okay payment is blocked in the invoice verification or we can see here r okay this is set here that means the invoice is blocked for payment okay so back back 
and back okay even in the payment app also we can see if the invoice is blocked here see our invoice verification here also we can see it is blocked for payment okay i will go back so this is the po history with the invoice posted for the purchase order as per the quantity and amount given by the vendor with variances thank you for watching my video please give me your valuable comments likes and please subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss notification of my upcoming videos on several scenarios in mm thank you for watching my video